And so the 11th commandment is, from this point forth, if I want to start reinventing my clientele, I want to be mindful that the new 11th commandment is that thou shalt be client-friendly or guest-friendly without befriending your clients. So you can see what I've done here. Here, client-friendly. Here, you befriended the client. So you always want to watch that and, and that fine line. Now, what do you do if you've befriended the client and the, and, the cli and, the, and the relationship has gotten too friendly, too casual? What do you do to turn it back? That's what I want to be talking to you tonight. Tonight's conversation is about changing the conversation with a cool little technique. Some of you have heard me teach it in the world. I call it reconsult. Now, first question we need to ask ourselves. It's a monumental question. How many, listen closely, I'm working fast now. How many of my friends who used to be clients miss being my clients? I'm going to say it another way. How many of my friends who used to be my guests miss being my guest? I'm suggesting that when your friend was your guest, their experience coming in to see you was a, a signature experience. It was a full service experience. Now it's begun friendly. And what, and, and what I did is I pulled this concept out of the book that for some of you, it's been so long since you've had this casual friendship, I call it, it's been so long since the last signature consultation, since your friend got a consultation, that you and them are now in a rut of complacency. I call it the same old look syndrome. Same old look, visit after visit, you see what I'm pointing to? Um, same old look, same old way, same old visit. You can see what I'm pointing to. Last visit, the one before that, the one before that, and now you're stuck. How do you get on unstuck? Well, what we're going to do is I want, we want to really bring the relationship back to where it was here. Because when you think about it, in the salon, you work in this open-air environment. So when you have a friend who used to be your guest sitting down, they're looking all around and they can see all the other experiences going on over here. And they're, see, they're seeing clients or guests getting having an experience that they had six visits ago. They'll see a guest sitting in another chair at the next station in a lookbook talking about new color. To, and they're back there sitting in your chair thinking, we used to talk about that. We used to use that lookbook. We don't go in the lookbook anymore. And even today now, lookbooks are on iPads. They're on tablets. They're on Droid uh, mobile devices. They're on iPhones. You know, you got now you got a lookbook on an Instagram page. And meanwhile, the last consultation I had with my friend, who used to be my guest, was a year ago. This person is in my chair now, they're seeing all these signature consultations going on and they're thinking, I want that. I don't want to talk to you about it though because it's embarrassing. It feels creepy. I don't want to even go sit in that chair. I'd love to sit in that chair because the experience is so awesome. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to quietly leave the salon. I'm going to get on my Google, my iPhone and Google signature consultations in salons in this community and I'm going to go to that salon. If you're sitting there and you're listening to this tonight, watching it tonight, it's like, oh wow, Wow, I've been I've been reminiscing myself. I wonder what happened to Carol and Barb and Sharon and Shirley, right? And Nancy. I haven't seen them. Well, you they're they're slowly but surely. They're one of the 250 friends on a client that's like somebody else's Instagram, Facebook page, and they're getting and they're seeing all these looks and they want that experience because they're in a rut with you. Are you getting the picture now? How do we find out if they're ready, uh, if they're ready, they're tired of being a friend and they want to come back to be uh, my guest again? This is the technique, I call it reconsult, where we're beginning to move from casual and we're going to move it up to formal. We're going to see if they're interested. And it's really simple. When they come in, and I've actually given you the script. I'm going to go through the script right now. How are we doing for time? i got about three or four more minutes with you. When they come in, before, and some of them, 
you got them trained where they're meeting you at the bowl because the last 10 times they came in, it was, I'll meet you at the bowls. And then you just go sit and wait for you like a little dog for crying out loud. You, you were doing drive-by consultations or blowing right through the consultations. Uh, so now but when you go and you say hi to them and it's real friendly, good to see you, Chloe, how's your life? Give her a hug and then say, here it is. Chloe, it's been a few visits since I've checked in with you about what we've been doing with your hair. And you know what? I want to always make sure your look is fresh. I want to take a couple of minutes uh, to talk about some new ideas to take your look up. You want to do that, Chloe? You will know in a nanosecond if she misses being your guest because you're going to get one of two responses. The, the, either your guest, your friend's going to say yes, and you, you'll see it all the time. They go, okay, <laughs> yeah, I'm more bored with my damn hair than you are. I just, I missed that because I've been sitting. Now, they're not going to say that to you, but that's what they're thinking. And before you know it, you're in the game. You're going to give them a signature consultation, which is a future episode that I'm going to take you through, right? Um, and then if the guest says no, some of them are going to say no. They might even say something like, what did you, have you been watching uh, a uh, online video training sales class? You Now what are you trying to sell me? How much is this going to cost me? Now they're saying no. And what they're really saying is, no, no, I want to keep the relationship dysfunctional. I want to keep it codependent. I want to keep, you, you depend on me to be your friend and like you, and I depend on the deal. So at some point in time, you are going to have a, a very different conversation with that client, that friend that used to be a guest, and that is coming into a new agreement that you're no longer in a position to give them a deal. You're going to have this conversation with them, but you're going to have it at a different time. I want to give you some training on how that conversation is going to sound in the next episode or so. In the meantime, we'll get you some new referrals from social media so that when we have this conversation, if we lose this guest, you know what? There's a whole bunch of new referrals that aren't used to paying the old price that I'm going to honor the 11th commandment with, right? And the 11th commandment is, uh, and the, yeah, get formal. I like what you said, uh, Rand Man. The 11th commandment is, thou, thou shalt be guest friendly without befriending the guest. <laughs>